Hey guys, so this is day four of the barricade on US Highway 61 in Montrose, Iowa. The exact address is 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa. It's an hour north, an uh, hour, it's a mile north. Man, I'm not awake yet and I've had my coffee already. <laughs> Um, so we've had some really disturbing developments that I updated you guys with yesterday regarding the uh, private security for DAPL who have been doing things like running people off the road. Um, they've been doing things like assaulting and attempting to arrest people. They've been illegally searching vehicles. And today I'm actually lucky enough to have with me one of the water protectors who uh, yesterday uh, faced some of these abuses of power that the DAPL security have been uh, been throwing around and ramping this up. So I'm going to let him share a little of his story from yesterday. So I'd like to introduce you all to... Hi, I'm Cameron Kennedy. Um, yesterday I was uh, scouting the other side of the river where they're boring, trying to pull the black snake under the river. Uh, what I observed is that the snake is welded. They've elevated it about two stories high so it can bore under the ground. Um, the, it was not currently going under the river. We, at that time, I think, had still halted their operations, um, but they are now moving again. Uh, so I saw that I was on a public road when I was spotted by DAPL security. Um, they informed the police that I was trespassing. I managed to make it down. We managed to make it down to where we had parked, and they tried to block us off with two trucks, um, get out of our cars to attempt to assault us, presumably. Uh, we managed to drive away. We made it about three, five minutes before we were intercepted by three sheriffs. Um, we were arrested for criminal trespass, just simply on the word of DAPL security. And uh, our car was searched without our consent, and the police let DAPL search our car, which is incredibly illegal. Uh, when, I told the, when I told the sheriff of Hancock County that I do not consent to a search of the vehicle, uh, he said, and this is a direct quote, they're going to do what they want. And so we know for a fact that Illinois, Iowa, like all of these police are crooked as are crooked as hell, and they're working with DAPL security to put this project in place, and they are willing to break any law in order to get it in order to get it done. And so, uh, yeah, I went to Hancock County Jail for about four hours before my friends bailed me out, and uh, here we are back on the barricades trying to kill a snake. Thank you so much, Cam. <laughs> now. Um, We've managed to, with a handful of people here, shut this down for four days. And it's pouring with rain. We've had awful weather. It's been storming. And we've still got people here and it's shut down. But what we've learned with the pipe now being up and ready to go underneath the Mississippi is time is running out. So I know you're watching all over the world, but I also know there's a lot of people right on the doorstep here. And what we need you to do is come down here today come down here today. We're especially calling for anyone who's a trucker, anyone who has an RV, anyone who has any kind of large farm equipment, any big vehicles that can keep people dry from the rain, and also would be very useful to show just how much people from all walks of life are affected by this. Because this affects from the youngest to the oldest and for the people that aren't even here, and it's affected the people that are gone, as you heard the story of our Gold Star grandmother, uh, Gold Star mom, who had lost her son fighting in Afghanistan, opening a road for big oil. So this is huge, guys, and I know so many of you are watching this, but what we need is we need presence down here. Because imagine what we could do down here with 200 people. Because right now, we've got 15 to 20 people that have shut this down. These guys have been out here for four days now through all weather. And when I say all weather, yesterday in about 30 minutes, it rained more rain than I've seen in about six months. It was torrential downpour. And as you can see, I mean, these guys behind us, that is where everyone is locked down. They're still locked down there underneath the tarpaulin. They are risking so much and they are here to stay. We are not going anywhere. But if we don't have more people here, it's going to be very, very hard to keep this shut down because there is now another dump site that they're using and they have a huge amount of hired ex-military mil ex as part of their security who are working in collusion here with the police. We've seen that multiple, multiple times.
No, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people at Standing Rock. Down here at Mississippi Stand, we do not have the bodies. If we had the bodies, we would make a huge difference. Because the difference is, up at Standing Rock, there's thousands of people, but there's riot police. There's thousands and thousands of security up there. Down here, there's a handful of people, but there's also a handful of security. So if we can get hundreds of people down here, we can be far more effective by standing peacefully and standing in the way and saying no more. No more is big oil going to make us all pay for the rest of our lives by not having clean water to drink, by destroying the amazing Mississippi River, by dumping toxic chemicals straight into the groundwater. The site up on Johnson Street, that was already finished. So where they're dumping now, they had already finished with it. We've made, we forced them to change their plans with a handful of people here. And now they're dumping in a place that they originally weren't planning to dump in. So there's another danger there. They're dumping toxic sludge. This is not, this isn't a problem for tomorrow. This is a problem for today. And we need you guys to come down here now. Now, uh, 15 hours from Standing Rock. So you could be down from Standing Rock within, within 24 hours easily. Um, we're desperately in need of people to come down. We're in need of locals here in Iowa. We've been on the local Iowa radio station. We've been in the Hawkeye. We need people to stand up and say, you know what? Enough is enough. We're going to come and stand down here. We're going to bring our vehicles. We're going to park our vehicles. We're going to drive our vehicles. We're going to show that this can't continue and that we stand with these people. Because right now, what's happening here with such a handful of people has been so effective it's been incredible so thank you it's 12 hours from standing rock i'm hearing uh from uh my good my good sister who's up there right now uh so thank you i'm glad you're out there nana i love you sister thank you for everything you've done and uh we're friends for life sister wherever you are i'm there for you the address is 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa. I believe it's 52639. And I'm going to keep this live stream running because people are joining, gradually joining this. Please keep sharing this for us. Please keep sharing this out right now and share it out to all of the standing rocks. Good morning, Slider Joe. Good morning, Joanne. Thank you for St. Louis. St. Louis, you can get here. Phil is with us, thank you. We appreciate you being with us. Who do you know in Iowa? Who do you know in Minnesota? Who do you know that can get down here within a day? You know, jump in a bus, rent a bus, rent a U-Haul, fill it with people. You can rent a U-Haul. You can fill it with people and come down here. How about, how about a convoy of U-Haul trucks coming down here from Minnesota? A convoy of U-Haul trucks coming down Thanks, here from Iowa. Minnesota represents. Rep Minnesota's already represented. Let's see how many more people we can get. Good morning, Bucky. Good morning, Bob. Thank you, Dylan. Water is life. Kevin Powers, am I having a good time? Um, <laughs> Uh, it depends on your definition of good time. If seeing my friends assaulted by private security colluding with the police is good time, then I'd have to say uh, yes. yes, but for me, no. No, this isn't a joke. This isn't a laugh. Yes, I do laugh and joke because you have to keep your spirits up. But this is serious. This is, about, this is about more than just today. This is about the futures of your grandchildren. So no, I'm not having a good time, but I'm very proud of being here and I'm proud of everyone that's here. Let me show you the people that are here. So right on the side of the road here, you still see we have this line of defense. I'm going to walk around because all you're seeing is cars right now. But this is right on the side of the highway and up there, if I lift that up, that's the Mississippi right there. That's how close it is to this dump site here. And as you see, we have a natural barricade. And then we have our water protectors who have been here all night Whoa. sleeping under tarps in torrential rain. These guys are here. We're standing strong. You've got a commander working on a team to come and protect us. Fantastic. I sa that, that, that sounds amazing. The sooner they can get here, the better. Trucks, higher trucks, higher U-Hauls. Can you imagine what 20 U-Hauls down here could do? Woo! I'm sure. Join us, indeed. <laughs> and what's on the back of that sign? Oh, this is exactly where we are. It's the, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, we're being technical now, cars pointing. <laughs> 
Here we go, the toxic waste site is there. Right here. And the Mississippi is over there. This is the Dakota Access dump site, yes. And we need you to join us. Bring U-Hauls, bring semis. Who knows who's got an uncle or an aunt who's a semi driver that could load up a semi with people or, and come down here and transport people around and drop them off all over the different sites here to let them know that every single site is not okay. They're stealing land under imminent domain. Come on guys, come and support this before it's too late. Don't let this be in vain. Do not let this be in vain, people. You know, this can't be in vain. These people have given up so much to be here. So much to be here. So you come down with a semi. Imagine how many people fit in a semi or in the back of a U-Haul. You can bring a bunch of people down, a convoy of cars. The more cars that come down here, the more effective we can be at mobilizing from site to site. And, sh and letting all these people here that have their land being desecrated know that we stand with them and we're supporting that. Hey, Dead Larry in the house, Joe. Joe, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to come and join you guys in Iowa City and Ames this weekend. I would love to come. I may need a ride, so we need to talk about that. Um, local bands are stepping up. No, I didn't say, but you can, no, but it is amazing if you can have a big semi here. Or imagine having semis parked along here, showing that support. Imagine having trailers, a combine harvesters, you know, the, anything, hay balers, all these things that local li Iowans have, the local farmers. This is the heart of farmland. This is the most fertile farmland in the whole of America. So... This is the most fertile farmland that is being desecrated right now for big profit and big oil. So the people that own that land that have these big vehicles and they can come out and stand with those big vehicles and say no more. Imagine a trail of tractors, a convoy of tractors here, a convoy of combine harvesters. Imagine the, the, the visual effect of that what people would see, how many people would stop and say, hey, what's going on here? And how many more people would join? Boat pilot on the Mississippi come and pick people up and drop them here. Oh, uh, thanks, I'm glad you like... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like the beer that's growing on me, as they say. Um, thank you, Joe. Yeah, I, I'd love a ride. Um, we've, yeah, the property owner uh, has an excavation company. We do need a grand jury. And thank you, Ashley. You guys are doing work by sharing this. Keep sharing it. But share it and tag people you know that are in Iowa. Tag people you know that are in Wisconsin. Tag people you know that are in Illinois. We're right on the border of Illinois. We're in Iowa here. We're not far from Wisconsin, Minnesota. These people can get down here. Hey, Lewis, all the way from England, brother. I'm glad the Gooners are doing so well this season, man. Top of the league at last. Thank you, Villarreal, Betty Jane. Hey, Leo Castronans, congratulations to you and Cassandra on your upcoming uh, first addition to your family. Oh, thank you for calling the tow truck company. What did they say to you, Wabasca? Thank you, Rose Marie. I love you, creepy. As you can see, this weather out here is uh, blessing us with a lot of sacred water right now. Thank you, Texas. Thank you, Heather. Um, my condolences to you and I look forward to seeing you later on. <laughs> Thank you, Oklahoma. Yes, if you, if you can pray for us, if you can uh, do anything that's going to help shut this down, if we can have a massive meditation to uh, set the intention that something breaks on these dump trucks for the people that meditate and send intention. If, uh, if hundreds of you could get together that can't come here and have a group meditation, that would be amazing. Thank you, Florida, Tennessee. Thank you for putting plans in motion. We need those plans to happen now. So if you could make those happen now, that would be amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. As you can see or can't see right now, you can probably see the rainfall here. Uh, it's, pretty, it's, it, it's pretty crazy. Hey, Laurel, thank you. So I'm just going to keep running this live stream and asking you guys to come down. 
Uh, we have like 15 to 20 people right now. It keeps growing uh, gradually. Thank you for raising energy. Oh, I'm sure the line was busy. Um, were they polite to you when you called the tow company? I'm very interested to hear what they had to say. I believe they made local radio for some sound bites. Yep, it is absolutely a collusion between the DAPL security and the officers here. Um, it's coming towards the end. If we don't get more people down here, this is going to be Mississippi Stand's last stand in the next few days, within a week. We don't want that. We want to keep this going, and with more people down here, we can. So all those people that are up at Standing Rock, come on down. Come on down for like a week and help us and build this. That would be amazing. That would be so amazing. So thank you guys for joining. I don't know if there are ride share pages. If someone can set up ride share pages, then go ahead and set up a ride share page to get down here. It is blessed water from the sky. That's why I do not have my hood on. That's why I'm letting it run in my beard. My beard's gonna be wet all day. It'll wash that sugar out from the donuts the other day. Thank you, Rose, for everything you've done. I hope you're feeling better, sister. Yeah, we've reached out to Standing Rock, we, but, you know, they've under so much oppression up there that it's hard for a lot of the natives to come down because that's their homeland. That's their reservation up there that's being desecrated. They're being arrested for preying on their own property. So it's very hard for them to walk away from their own property to come and protect this with us. But we put the call out and they support us daily. Um, they've helped us with fundraising. They've sent money down for us as well. So please keep on, keep on getting people to come down. It's great that there's 100 people watching. But you know what? We'd, we'd, we'd love to have 20 people come down here today. And I, don't, I could have 100,000 views. But if no one comes down here, it doesn't help. It helps in the long term, but in the short term, the, the short term is to get people down here. The long term is to keep spreading this message because you know once we shut this pipeline down, there's other pipelines, there's other things that are going on desecrating the environment. So, you know, we could, uh, we can continue to do that and shut those things down. And um, we will continue to do that and shut those things down. But first off, we need people here and then we can look at the bigger picture of, of pushing the green energy of looking at the other places that are being destroyed uh, down in uh, Portland, Oregon, down, uh, down in Florida. I mean, the end is list, es the list is endless. It's sad, it's terrible what happens to this beautiful environment. Behind me is this dump site. I'm gonna show you the dump site now because believe it or not, I can actually go onto it. So come with me. So we're actually going onto this dump site. So as you walk down here, sorry it's a little shaky. I'm just doing this with uh, my own uh, with my own phone and uh, holding it in my hand. But as you can see, there's this line here that was marked out by the DOT, so I can't go any further than this. But if you look over here, and I might be able to zoom in for you guys, yeah, I can. Look at this new phone, bear. Yeah, that over there. Is where they're dumping. So this is where they're dumping. We're in Iowa, yes. Thank you, Ontario, Canada. Thank you. So as you can see, there's no coming down here right now. This is completely shut down, but they have other sites and other places. So we need you to come down so that we can also shut down those other places. With a handful of people, we've managed to shut work down for four or five hours in the day before, get them to go home early, all kinds of things that we've managed to do. But imagine what we'd do with the more people. So the site address again for anyone joining you is 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. Yeah, absolutely, Tracy. I, we, we've, had set, we've had five year olds who understand doc, what's going on here better, better than anyone that I've met. I've interviewed eight year olds that have come 300 miles who understand the ramifications of continuing to do this. 
Thank you for joining us, Katie. Thank you, Kyle, Linda, thank you. People come from Standing Rock, but they have to go back to Standing Rock. They have been down to help us. We, we are very supported by Standing Rock. We've had elders come down. But the thing with that is that is their land up at Standing Rock. So imagine if your, your house was being attacked right now and then a friend in another county was saying, hey, there are the same people who are attacking my house. It's like leaving your house and coming to defend someone else's house. So we understand the support from them is by sharing the videos with financial support. And right now they can't come down as the, uh, uh, as the people who own that land because they need to protect their own. But there's millions of people watching this right now millions of people you all know so many people how many people do you know in the midwest people in the midwest can get down here within 24 hours imagine what would happen if we had a convoy of 100 cars come down imagine 100 cars come down in convoy that'd be incredible is my are you still getting this okay i'm getting a weak connection signal again on my phone it's very strange because i haven't moved and I, I don't understand why verizon's signal would change so rapidly um but are you guys are you guys still seeing this perfect i'd love to see the kids at the weekend come on down from tennessee uh top sleeping bags um joe i can I, if you can collect supplies um warm stuff rain stuff snow stuff that kind of stuff um lighting type stuff uh like lanterns flashlights um, we always love coffee. Coffee keeps us awake. Um, I'm sure little Mo would love some dog food. Little Mo's been down here for a while now, and uh, she, uh, little Mo, he would love some dog food. He's the little dog. Do you guys want to see? A sweater, a warm sweater. And a warm sweater for the dog. Do you want to see the doggy? Where, where's little Mo? I'm going to introduce you to little Mo. Little Mo's so cool. Little Mo is amazing. Here we go. Here's little Mo. Oh, look at little Mo. Hey, little Mo. How are you this morning? <laughs> oh, little yeah. Mo. Wagging his tail. Yeah, Come here, little Mo. <whistles> oh, he's found some food. So, yeah, if you guys have any uh, dog food to bring down for little Mo, I am keeping videoing. How did you guys like little Mo? <laughs> little Mo, you're getting some love. What size sweater for little Mo? A uh, small sweater, I would suggest. Not extra small, maybe small. A small sweater, a small dog sweater. Little Mo, did you escape? <laughs> Come here. Hello. Thank you for being here, little Mo. You're being famous right now. He, lo he, he loves Louisiana. He is cute. He is a very cute dog. You guys met uh, the Gold Star, Gold Star mother the other day and her service dog. Um, oh, incidentally, I didn't tell you guys this, but this is tragic as well. So our Gold Star mother was followed all the way home by private security when she left this site the other day as well. She's the one who lost her son uh, the day after his 23rd birthday out in Afghanistan because he was trying to open up a road for oil tankers back there. Him and four friends lost their lives for being inadequately protected and for protecting big profit and big companies, not for protecting the soil here. And then there is a very gracious person who's been fighting the fight here since it first started over two years ago now. Originally the pipeline was due to go through their property. I just learned his grandson, who I believe is nine years old, was beaten up on the school bus by a 12-year-old because his granddad supports the protesters. I'm going to tell you that again. Okay, we're calling for massive mobilization of people here. That's what we need. We need more people. It is completely illegal. A lot of things that are happening are completely illegal. You're perfectly correct. But the problem is DAPL security and the police are working together. So legality's gone out the window. No, they're not supposed to follow someone home. But they do. But just to reiterate, 
a local who's been fighting this since it first started, his grandson, his nine-year-old grandson, was beaten up on his school bus by a 12-year-old because his granddad supports the protectors. Just think about that for a second. That's how much people are putting on the line, people that are, that are supporting this and happy to support this, and that's what's happening. So, I apologize. Verizon were just calling to see how my new phone was, apparently. I'll let them know in a second. This is more important. Yeah, I'm not going to suggest you follow the security home, but most of the security from out of state, if not from outside of this country. A lot of them are ex-military. Um, they're extremely dangerous people. As I said yesterday, our water protectors were following a truck and they ended up being chased. They ended up being rammed. They ended up being boxed in. Um, a local person who saw the incident was trying to get around it accidentally clipped one of the uh, DAPL security and the DAPL security grabbed the member of the public out of their vehicle, threw them on the ground and put the knee in their back. These guys are thugs. These guys are acting without any, without any care for the laws. They're above the law right now. That's why we need people down here. We are trying to stop the cycle of hate. That's why we're standing down here with peace and we're standing down here with love. You see me smiling. You don't see me calling hate on these people. You don't see me suggesting violence on these people. I feel so sorry for these people that they don't understand the, the effect that they're having. They do not understand. I, I, how do they sleep at night? Attacking 20 year old girls and who are following a truck, driving them off the road? What kind of world do they live in that they can sleep at night? I know I can sleep at night in a car in freezing temperatures. And I'm the lucky one because I was in a car. A lot of people were sleeping under tarps out here in the rain last night. Yeah, it's on video. But you know what? These guys are able to get... They can handle big fines. They can handle getting in trouble. They don't care. They're doing whatever they can to complete this pipeline. Thank you, Doc. I love you, brother. What is this, Julian? This is a call for action. Anyone with big vehicles, anyone who can come down today, not tomorrow, today, not in a week, today, down here to Montrose, Iowa. The address is 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. We need people with semis, maybe people that want to hire U-Hauls. We need a big convoy of vehicles because with 20 people or less here, we've shut down this dump site. We've got this barricade in process. Okay, so this pipeline, for those that don't understand how this, how this pipeline works, it's coming on a diagonal all the way down from North Dakota and it's running through Illinois, underneath the Mississippi, 70 feet under the Mississippi, through the Iowa. Right now in Iowa, they finished drilling or virtually finished drilling. They're, tr they're starting to drag the pipeline underneath the river. They've welded it on the Illinois side and they're getting ready to pull it under the Mississippi River. What they're supposed to do is check every weld. We're pretty sure that isn't happening right now. So they're pulling this into place as, in the next few days. That's why we need people down here now because this is part of the same pipeline that's going on at Standing Rock. These lands down here, a lot of these lands, of course, were originally belonged to the Native Americans. They're originally indigenous lands that have been stolen yet again. But here they're stealing land under imminent domain. Under imminent domain, they've taken land from a 90-year-old widow who was offered the largest sum of money she's ever seen in her life. And she said, no, you can't buy my love. So guess what? They said, okay, we're going to use imminent domain, which is supposed to be for governments. And they took some of her land. And the pipeline goes through her land. So, you know, it's not about, it's not about the legalities it's not about what's morally right. They're cutting every corner they can to get this done. So the more people we have down here, the harder it's gonna be. We're gonna hit them where it hurts in their pocket. They're gonna to have to have more security. They're gonna to have to have, it's gonna take them longer. If we have a convoy of cars down here, a convoy of trucks, a convoy of RVs, then we can mobilize quickly and we can show them just how determined we are to say no. No more big oil, no more pipeline. 
So we need you to keep sharing this video. I need you to keep getting anyone you know in the Midwest. Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri. I'm English, I don't know all the states. Indiana can come down here. Yeah, I know that's close by, that's where I was coming. You know what, I never planned to be here. I came here for one day to drop some things off with a non-profit and ended up staying. And this is here where I stay now. So if I can do that, you can do that. Minnesota, we're calling you now. Iowa, we're calling you now. Indiana, we're calling you now. Illinois, we're calling you now. Missouri, we're calling you now. Tennessee, I hear you're on your way. Come bring trucks. Hire U-Hauls. You can put a lot of things in U-Hauls. You can bring a lot of blankets, a lot of it, and you can bring a lot of people. And anyone with semis, anyone with RVs, camper vans, caravans, trailers. Imagine having 50 big vehicles roaming around Iowa on these tiny little streets. Yeah. Imagine what that would show Dapple. No to Dapple. You know, big oil is death, water is life. You can choose which side of history to be on right now. All these people right here, right now. These people here, the handful of people you see, what they're choosing is they're choosing life. They're choosing to be on the side of history that counts. Here is Mississippi Stand. If you go to MississippiStand.com, you can find more information. We need you down here now. We really need you. It's crunch time. Otherwise, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about these huge fines that Dapple got for, not, for cutting corners. We're going to be talking about civil suits for assaulting protectors. But all that's going to be happening while the oil is going underneath the ground in a pipeline that one day will break. And it might not break in my lifetime, it might not break in your lifetime, but it will break and it will pollute the Mississippi. And if you're not standing here right now, then you're not going to be part of the solution. So right now, this gentleman's been here since the start. I'm going to introduce you to Alex. Alex, what do you have to say to these 189 people watching right now? The time has never been more dire. Um, it, they're done boring and the piping is coming from Illinois. They've got a little over a mile to pull this piping under the Illinois. There's convoys of semis taking the residual mud that is shooting out on the Iowa side. And they're trucking this in truckloads back to Johnson Street Road, which very likely is overflowing now because we've taken this dump site and we're holding it. But they have this other dump site. We're looking at seven days and this piping is through the river. And this piping is underneath and buried. This is Mississippi's last stand. If you were thinking about coming in two weeks, there is no more two weeks. It is coming right now. If we're going to stop it, it is right now. And if we have the numbers, we can stop it and we will stop it. Seriously, seriously, please come here and save the mighty Mississippi. So Alex, what are you telling these people? Although this could be days from completion, this isn't over. Correct. Um, it's not over till there's oil flowing through it and even then it's not over but right here if we're gonna stop this piping this critical part in the overall Dakota access pipeline if we're gonna stop that right here at this point it's now this connects the piping in two states this is what connects Iowa and Illinois I've been here for a little over than a month and a half now and I've been begging people to come for a month and a half now now this is real this is where we're gonna stop it and this is the most heartfelt plea I can give for people to come so we can finally win this thing. Absolutely, and thank you, Alex. We really appreciate everything you've done. You've put so much on the line. You, you're running 20-hour days on very little sleep. You're liaising with the locals and trying to get the local support. And the sad thing right now is there's only a handful of locals from Iowa here. We've got people from, I don't know, Texas with the water protectors. We've got people from Minnesota. We've got people from, I can't even remember. There's plenty of other states that are escaping me. I think California and Florida are here. New Orleans. New Orleans are here. Louisiana's here. There's so many people that we don't have Iowa here. We need Iowa here now. And uh, for the address, again, it's 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa. If anyone is a trucker, maybe you can put a shout out on your uh, CB radio for people to come down here and uh, join us. I see you watching, Paul. We appreciate everything. If you can join us and bring people, that would be great. Yes, tag media stations. Yes, go and uh, people at Johnson Street at the dump site. By all means, go there. 
be careful there. They are playing by different rules. Um, someone's two-year-old son, Kinsey's two-year-old son, just said no dapple. That's a two-year-old understanding this. Come on, people, let's get people down here right now. That is not a mailing address. No, that's physically where I'm stood on the side of the highway. For those that haven't seen where I'm stood, I'll take you up here again. So this highway right behind me here, I'm just going to show you. This is US Highway 61. Behind me, you see the vehicles flying past. Behind me, you have the Mississippi River. So, 2831, US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa. Hiawatha, Kansas, thank you for Kansas, thank you for being with us. I can try and type the address in one second. It will be up the top of this video too. 2831 US Highway. I'm rather slow at this, but there you go. Montrose, Iowa. Oops. It's a new phone, give me a chance. Uh 52639. If someone can check that zip code. If someone can check the zip code on that, please do. North Dakota, you're here. Ohio, I know you're coming, but can you come sooner? The 14th of November, this could be too late. We need you now. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, no dapple. Thank you, Rose. Uh, mailing address, go to mississippistan.com. Aaron Roberts, Robin says, my two-year-old can't comprehend why anyone wants to hurt the water. Let me just confirm that. That is a two-year-old asking why people would want to hurt the water. We're at a blessed time in the world right now because these, these kids that are coming through as the next generation understand what is happening. And at two years old, at two years old, they have more understanding of this situation than a lot of people. Yesterday, I was talking in a local restaurant and there were a couple of truck drivers there and they were very much pro the pipeline. And they said, you know, when the Keystone pipeline was going through, we made the most money we've ever made in our lives. And you know, the one question I asked them and they went really silent. I said, when your time on this earth ends and you go back to wherever we all came from, how much of that money are you gonna take with you? We're calling for people, Jason. We're asking people to come down from Iowa, people to come down from Missouri, people to come down, come up, sorry, from Tennessee, from Illinois, from Wisconsin, uh, from Indiana, from anywhere, from North Dakota. We're asking people to get here now and stand with us. Dustin, I understand. I understand, Dustin, and appreciate it. Yes, tag Amy Goodman, get them putting a shout out. Get get Democracy Now to put a shout out. Get Shailene Woodley. Anyone knows any big musicians or big actors, tag them, talk to them, call them. Someone's got to know someone who can mobilize massive people here. Anyone know anyone on the Vikings team? Anyone know anyone on the Packers team? Any of the big sports teams? Money is not worth poisoning ourselves. No, we cannot drink oil. Uh, yeah, supplies supplies would be great, but right now what we're calling for is people. We do have people dropping off supplies. If you go to MississippiStand.com, MississippiStand.com, www. There's the website for you guys in the comments. If you go there, M-I-S-S-I, yep, I spelled it right. If we stand together, we can stop this. It is not too late. That's right, it's not too late. But in a few days, it could be too late. So we need you to come here. It's on me. We need you to come here. We need you to come and stand with us before it is too late. Because I don't want to be talking to you guys about, it's too late now, the pipeline's in here. Now we're chasing our tail and now we're going through civil suits. And now we're trying to find them. Because guess what? Dakota Access Pipeline aren't going to care if they're fined for environmental infringements, if they've got civil action suits against their hired thugs for security. 
that isn't going to matter. They're just going to throw money at it because that's what they can do. They throw money at everything and think it will make a solution. The problem is once the water's polluted, you can't throw money at that. There's no way back. That's sacred water. This very water that's falling on me right now and falling on everyone stood in Iowa that's going into the Mississippi, that's the same sacred water that's been here since the beginning of time. This is the most sacred thing on the planet and we're messing with it. And we're prepared to mess with it for the sake of profit and big companies. Hell no, we're not. We need you to come down here now, guys. And if you can bring a semi or two, bring a few U-Haul trucks, bring some campers and caravans. Come and stand with Mark Ruffalo, indeed. Mark Ruffalo, we heard about what happened up in uh, North Dakota last night. Uh, if you happen to have the ability to come down here and do something similar, that would be amazing. Yeah, water is life. It's the first medicine. There are people who have drunk, drunk water for days without food. Yeah, bottled water is not the solution. That's a whole other story. Yeah, Mississippi, uh, come, come on down. 2831, Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. Todd, we're calling for massive action because right now the pipeline is about to go underneath the Mississippi River. The welding has taken place on some of the pipeline. It can't possibly have been correctly checked. It cannot possibly have been um, done in a manner that's safe. But they don't care. They'll take fines any day. They need to finish this because they want to finish this before they have too many people down here protecting the land and, and making sure that it doesn't happen. So right now we need it. Thank you, Tonya. We send prayers to Standing Rock too. We talk about you every day. PBS, come on down. NBC, if you're watching this. ABC, if you're catching this. I know you have permission to jump on my streams. Now's the time to let people know because you can be part of the solution. Water is life. Oil is death. When I was a kid, I remember watching programs in England. I love nature. I've always loved nature. I'm, I'm an avid bird watcher. And over in England, I remember watching oil disasters and seeing these poor helpless birds dying, covered in black tar on the beaches. And there would be people mobilized to go to the beaches and pick up these poor birds and take them and try and wash the oil out their feathers. But it takes, it, it kills so many. Imagine if that happened in the Mississippi River. It's already happening. Pipelines are already breaking all over the country, the old pipelines. We already know this is not a method that works. And someone mentioned Tesla. Yes, Tesla did find free energy. The problem is it's free. No one can make money from free. The system likes money. The people at the top hate it if you mess with their money. If we... It, that's what we need people down here. The Bible's well known with every religious belief and every Bible says we'll be tested. You're not to want for money and material items. Help thy neighbor. That little money the workers of the pipeline get. I don't know, that's a long one. I can't read it. Your fiance was just here. Thank you. As fast as they're trying to lay pipe, it'll break sooner or later. Absolutely. Thank you, Hunter. You've stood with us already. You've already come down. Send some friends from school down. The money's useless. Yeah, bring the Guardian down. Nicole, thank you. Anyone you know, any of these big media outlets, get this out there on all these big media outlets. Start sharing this right now in Facebook groups, please. Start sharing this right now on Twitter. Who's got a big Twitter following? Who's got a big Instagram following? You know, um... You can take a screenshot of this and you can, set, you can send it as a message. And let, let's do this. Someone right now wants to take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of this right now. Send it out on Instagram. Send it out on Twitter. Send it out on Twitter and Instagram. Put the address on it. Ask people to come down. If anyone's got a CB radio, start putting shouts out to the, to the lorry drivers. Central Minnesota Networks in Minneapolis, thank you. Yes, it will end up in the ocean. I, it, it'll end up destroying everything that we need. Everything. Send it viral. Coming from New York, bring people. So yeah, take... We've got 258 people. If you all share this right now into five Facebook groups, that is going to mean that more people are going to see this. If you put the address when you share it, 28 
31, US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa 52639. Put it out on ham radio. Yes, ham radio. Start sharing this out as an address for truck drivers to come to. Anyone's got enough money, please hire a U-Haul and come and join us. Yes, I saw that, Oklahoma. We saw that your pipe broke down there the other day. It's tragic. That's what we're trying to stop here. Share on alternative media. Thank you. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. These are our choices. Trump, Clinton... Or standing up and making a difference. Wales, over in Wales, thank you. The address is on the top of this too. I know people use Instagram, I know people use Twitter. I know that you can tag big celebrities. Now's the time, now's the time guys. Not tomorrow, it has to be done today. John Brown, what this is, is a massive call to action to the address above your comment. Right now they're about to start pulling the pipeline underneath the Mississippi River for the... Uh, Dakota Access Pipeline that's running all the way up to North Dakota. It needs stopping. It's 70 feet under the Mississippi. It's been welded in days really quickly. Nothing's been checked. None of the checks are happening. There is the private security are assaulting, assaulting our peaceful water protectors. They're following grandmothers home to their to their houses. They're following grandfathers, or some, of, some of the grandfathers that have been here since the beginning. They're following them around. They're following me. Yesterday, someone pulled in front of me and stopped in the middle of the road, so I had to pull off the highway. They, they illegally colluded with the police in Illinois and searched one of the water protectors' vehicles. The DAPL security did the search, and the police stood by and watched. They said this is nearly over. They do not care. They just want it to be done. Water is life. Yeah, they tried running people off the road yesterday. They, they boxed in some water protectors. 20 year old girl and a couple of her friends that were dared to follow a couple of the dump trucks to see what was happening. And their security not only boxed them in, they physically hit the vehicle. And then a local who was trying to get past because the road was totally blocked. They, he, he clipped one of the security as he was going past in his pickup. They grabbed him out of his pickup truck, threw him to the ground, and stuck their knee in his back. And that wasn't even a water protector. That was just a local here from Keokuk. Come on down, Ohio. I know you had a benefit this weekend. You've got nearly 300 people watching this now. That's amazing. Yeah, it is disgraceful. Coming in two to three days from Michigan. Just as many people as possible. Bring... Bring warm water, bring warm weather clothing. Snow could be on the way. Um, bring tarps and blankets, sleeping bags. Uh, if you have military tents, that would be great. Uh, but just bring love in your hearts, bring peace, and be sure to just bring people. The more people we have and the more big vehicles we have, the harder it's going to be for them to get around this, this small country, this small uh, rural area here. And the more people here, the more that we can make a difference peacefully make a difference by standing here showing up because now's the time because tomorrow it could all be over and no one wants that to happen so we need you here we may have as, as little as a week left here so if you've been watching and thinking about coming then please come put your life on hold what's one week out of the rest of your life can you imagine the stories you could tell your grandkids if you said you know i took a week's holiday and i went and stood to say that big oil could no longer take over the world and we stopped that and you can imagine your grandkids sat on the knee saying wow granddad grandmother thank you so much we're still able to see all those animals you saw when you were a kid we're still able to swim in those amazing rivers uh, we're still able to drink water from a tap not from bottles you can be part of the solution you can have a huge story to tell or you can sit at home and pretend that there's nothing you can do and decide to watch other people and say you know what i've got a job i can't afford it i'll lose money you can have all the money in the world, but if you haven't got clean water, you might as well just give up. The water is more important than money. And that's the problem. No one recognizes that. They think they've been taught by the system to chase money and everyone chases the money. And while you're chasing money, the world's being destroyed. Once the world's destroyed, once we've lost our clean water sources, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. None of that goes with you. The legacy you leave is a destruction of the planet. The loss of habitat. 
the loss of species. There's so many, there's so many endangered species right now up in North Dakota that are, that, that are being affected up there by the pipeline. It's the same down here, I'm sure. But the thing is, no, one, no one's done those environmental surveys properly. There's so much money involved that people turn blind eyes and then later fines are paid. Well, you know what? Fines aren't going to clean the Mississippi. You all saw what happened when the oil, uh, the oil rig, BP oil rig went up and what happened there. They've been cutting corners so that they could get things going quickly. Because when they're not working, they're not making money. When they're not making money, the, top cat, the, the big people at the top are, uh, are not happy. This is about everyone. It's amazing because all tribes are coming together, regardless of skin color, regardless of rigid religious belief, regardless of whether they have no money in their pocket or whether they have millions of dollars in their pocket. Everyone is coming together. I have another of our water protectors here. Maybe he would like to say something to you guys. One second. So this gentleman here is, uh, my, is a very good friend of mine. We've become like brothers since we've been down here. Um, Tell them a little bit about what what you're doing down here, why you're here, and what yeah. we need. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to protect the water. I'm also here because, you know, carbon in our atmosphere has, has officially passed 400 parts per million permanently. You know, that's the threshold that even the most conservative scientists have said is catastrophic levels of climate change. We, have, we are in the midst of abrupt climate change. This is on pace to be not just the hottest year on record, but exponentially hotter than previous years. 11 of the last 12 months have been the hottest months ever recorded. We do not have a lot of time to stop this stuff. And it's not just about this pipeline. This pipeline is one site of fierce resistance to all fossil fuel extraction. If we don't stop this stuff now, there isn't chance. There isn't a chance. We have to stop this now. It's now or never. And in 50 years, if there are any humans left on earth, they're gonna ask you, where were you during the climate wars? Where were you when they were poisoning the last pieces of water that are clean? Where were you when they were exceeding 400 parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere? We do not have a lot of time. The only hope that I see for stopping the most catastrophic, extreme, apocalyptic levels of climate change is a mass mobilization of people willing to fight willing to die, willing to put their bodies on the line to say no more fossil fuels will be extracted anywhere ever. I think that's the only hope we have. And so if I understand not everyone can get out here, but if you can, please come out here. If you're close to North Dakota, go there. If, you're, if, if there's fossil fuel extraction projects in your area, organize against them. And this is ultimately not just about stopping fossil fuel extraction, but about stopping a capitalistic system that wants profits for a tiny group of people at the expense of all life on earth. And if we don't resist that system of capitalism, of white supremacy, of settler colonialism on this continent, then it, this is all one struggle. It's all one struggle. So solidarity with indigenous people, solidarity with those folks in North Dakota, solidarity with everyone fighting fossil fuel extraction, fighting capitalism, fighting white supremacy. So can I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely. What kind of vehicles would it would it just make you you jump for joy if you saw pulling up right now? What? I saw some big vans, some big U-Hauls, some big tractors maybe. Any big vehicles, it would be pretty darn exciting. I mean, I don't care what size your vehicle is, come here. But but if we had some big cars, there's no telling what we could do to stop these guys. I mean, we managed with a group of less than 20 people to blockade a vital dump site. So we did halt their operations for two days. Then they just decided they don't give a crap about, about the, obviously we know they don't give a crap about the environment, but they decided that they're gonna go and use a dump site that's already full, that's, that's leaking, that's, uh, and, and they don't care. So we did block them for two days, but then they just said, you know, screw you, and they, they went somewhere else that they, that they aren't even allowed to be going. So we, but we did that with less than 20 people. We shut down the operations under the Mississippi River of a 10 of a of a like five to 10 billion dollar pipeline with like 30 security guards, including private military contractors working against us. And we did that with less than 20 people. If we had 20 more people out here, there's no telling we could do it. If we had 50 people, 100 people out here, we could stop this pipeline. I have no doubt in my mind about it. Those folks in North Dakota are holding down the resistance there. And the best thing we can do for them is to make sure that there is a second site of fierce resistance. 
to strain the resources of Dakota Access Pipeline and to say that not just in North Dakota will they not do this, they will not do this anywhere, ever again. So it's not just about this pipeline, this is about the struggle against fossil fuel extraction, the struggle against capitalism, and we can do this, but we need people. The time is now, and seriously, when I say if there are humans on Earth in 50 years, they are going to ask, where were you during this time? Where were you? Quick question for you. Yeah, I know sure. I know they talk about the other side of this and the funding. Do you happen to know some of the banks that uh, are involved with this? I know uh, Wells Fargo was I know one. Wells Fargo, yeah. I, I don't know so much about, about the banks involved. I mean, you know, uh, I know Wells Fargo. I think TD Bank is, is involved. But, uh, you know, some of the big companies, one of the big companies behind this is Enbridge Corporation, which is a Canadian... Uh, Canadian energy company that's you know notorious for the for the tar sands operation the tar sands pipelines they're trying to bring in that's a vicious corporation but you know ultimately all of these banks all of these corporations they represent the same interests they represent the interests of profits for a tiny group of people of a small group of people making billions upon billions of dollars in the short term not caring that their children won't even have water their children won't even have won't even have air to breathe and they don't care because they're focused on short-term profits. That's the nature of capitalism. And so, you know, they, they think that their money is more important than the environment. And I, I would say to them, if they think their money is more important than the environment, they should count their money while they hold their breath. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so Thank much, you. my Thank brother. You, much love. <laughs> I'm just here just talking, man. There's a lot of people that are doing a lot more than talking. My talking reaches some people, uh, but there's people here that are putting a lot, lot, lot more on their line. Uh, so get down here, keep sharing this. I'm going to drop off now for a little bit. We've got over 300 people on here. I, I ask you again to keep sharing this. I ask you again to reach out to anyone that you know who drives truck, anyone that you know who drive, who who maybe has a triple A on their vehicle and could come down here. Um, anyone at all that could just bring people down. Yeah, again, it's 2831 US Highway 61 in Montrose, Iowa, 52639. So, um, with regards to this is a peaceful protest, certainly not advocate, advocating sabotage. I see some crazy things in the comments here. We stand here peacefully. The more people we have standing here peacefully with us in this non-violent direct action campaign, the more effective we can be. The more people that we have here, the more we can show them that the time has come to make a change. Big oil has to go. We say no more to the pipeline. We say no more to profits over people. Come on down, guys. Come on down. Let me share a poem with you. It's called Step Out the System, and I'm gonna share this with you because I think it is so so important to listen to this message and to understand this message with one foot in the past and one in the future the present right here right now is where we piss why are so many acting as though blind and why are we programmed to miss the destruction of those rainforests and the decimation of our seas those wars in far off places like afghanistan over power and greed a lesson in compassion with meditation in schools a study of love is what we all need Maybe then we can wake up before it's too late. We have been sent so many messengers, but they're always smothered in hate. Because now is the time as tomorrow's a fiction. We all live on a planet where greed and money has become our addiction. Because people only tend to give when they see getting something back. But guess what? The irony is to give is the gift. We have to focus on what we have, the sacred water, not what we lack, the money. But society's lost its connection to the power. It's created that rift. So right now, here today, it's time for a planet-wide consciousness lift. So people come to me and they say, I'm just one person, what can I say? But imagine the change that could come in a day. No, not even a day, but simply in this moment as you watch right now. Listen with your heart, not your mind, and you'll know how. Take time to hear the silence, as without it there is no sound. And it's within the practice of those processes that the answers are found. Because you know what? We are born with the answers and there's not one who is not. But we're distracted by the mass media and they program us to live in a constant fear. So we repeat these mistakes like big oil year after year after year. So come and stand at Mississippi Stand as the time is now for the madness to wither and die. 
We're asking you to step out of that system, stop supporting it. Come on, give it a try. You know, once you join us here and start on this journey, you'll see every moment in a new beauty and light. Once you start on this journey, you're gonna feel it's just right. So come down today, 2831, Mississippi, uh, US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. Bring trucks and trailers and semis and u hauls and most importantly, peace and love in your heart. Many, many people. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ellen Hartley. Yes, they're dumping back on Johnson Street. Alvin, you're with us and I know they followed you. Alvin is a grandfather here in the county who's been fighting this for a long time. And those GS4 security are following round a grandfather. Imagine if that was your grandfather. Calm down and show GS4 that is not cool. That's not the way to go. Come and stand here. So there's so many people here. They don't know who to follow. They don't know what to do. You saw them scratching their head when there was 15 of us here with one person on top of a trailer and one underneath it. Imagine if there were 200 people and we had five trailers or 10 trailers. We can make a difference, but the time is coming. It's right now, today. It's not next week. It's in these next couple of days. It's critical. So bring people down here one more time. It's not, it's not happening in a week. This could be Mississippi Stand's last stand. I want to be part of history. I want to be on the right side and part of the solution. And I need you guys to come down with us. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll keep you updated with everything that's going on. And thank you for showing so much love to everyone that's here. Thank you, Oregon. I love you guys. Pray for us and pray that, or send intention that these trucks break down, that these security guards walk away from their jobs and their hearts open and their minds open and come down. People, 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 we need you today. Please come and join us. Look into these eyes. We need you right now. Otherwise it will be too late. And I don't want to be telling the story about we were here and we tried, but no one came and it was too late. That's not the story I want to share. Thanks guys. We love you. We'll see you down here soon. Peace.